The interesting thing about Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards' last fights were that they both got hurt by the exact same combo that their opponent threw at them, and they also had the exact same reaction to said combo that ultimately got them caught. Leon Edwards and Nate Diaz were both in the southpaw stance, whereas both Kamaru Usman and Jorge Masvidal were in the orthodox stance, so the sequences were mirrored from each fight. And in both of these fights, Nate Diaz and Kamaru Usman were throwing a lot of jabs at their opponent. Also note, Nate and Kamaru were both longer than Leon and Jorge. So they're both longer and they were attacking their opponent with a lot of jabs. Jorge and Leon had to deal with a lot of jabs by pairing them. This ultimately caused a conditioning factor to both Jorge and Leon, and ultimately when it came down to the sequence where they got hurt, Leon getting rocked and Jorge getting knocked out, they were both waiting back to counter their opponent. Nate and Kamar Usman moved forward as Leon and Jorge both thought that a jab were going to come at them. They both went to parry what they thought were going to be a jab, but Nate and Kamaru threw a lead hook instead. This caused Leon's and Jorge's parry to be pretty much useless, and both Leon and Jorge in the meantime were trying to counter Nate and Kamaru with a check lead hook on the open side of their opponent. But Leon's check hook was way wider and more looping than Jorge's. This made it a lot easier for Nate Diaz to get down the center and catch Leon Edwards and also evade his check hook. Also when they're both throwing this check hook, Leon and Jorge did not move their head and did not move their feet at all. They became a very stationary counter puncher in front of their longer opponent. I understand if they're like John Jones or someone who's longer than their opposition, they can get away with this. But not when they're at a reach disadvantage. Naturally, the longer opponent is going to be able to get in and connect on the shorter guy in these kind of sequences first, which showed the same mistake from both Jorge and Leon mentally as well as physically. I can understand Leon trying to counter in this manner because he's usually the longer fighter in his fights, but for Jorge Masvidal, it is a bit strange that he went to this and ultimately got hit down the center by a straight punch. Straight punches beat looping punches when they meet each other like this, and this combination from Kamaru and Nate both caused the most damage to Leon and Jorge in their entire careers. Leon got rocked for the first time in his career, and Jorge got knocked out in the first time in his career. The reason why Jorge got knocked out, whereas Leon getting rocked, may have different reasons for that, but a big one is Kamaru hits a lot harder than Nate. The other thing is, Jorge takes a lot more damage than Leon does throughout his entire career. He has like double the fights almost, which is going to be natural for him to take a lot more damage, and Jorge has been fighting a lot higher caliber fighters than Leon has throughout his entire career.